Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Pastor Rex, and uh, we're coming to you on Wednesday morning. We missed Monday this week, in case you noticed that uh, uh, we kind of had a little glitch in uh, getting our video up. But, uh, you know, today I want us to kind of move on from the whole aspect of understanding the Bible and, and understanding the Bible as story. And I want us to kind of go back to putting together just a little bit of uh, theology and there's sort of this unpleasant topic that, uh, that Christians deal with, and it's the topic of sin. And, uh, you know, when we look in the very first chapter of Genesis, it, it tells us that God created them male and female. And then God says of all of creation, including uh, male and female, he says he created them good. And God said, that's good. That is very good. Well, if God created us as good, that brings up the question, where did all this sin come from? Why is creation such a mess? Why are people hating each other and despising each other? And, and why is life just plain messed up? Well, you know, as we think about that, you know, I think we come back to that concept of God being good. Because one of the things that God gave to Adam and Eve in the very beginning, I think is something that he gave also to the angels in heaven. And that is, he gave them a free will. And rebellion started in heaven with, uh, with Satan and the angels, but that rebellion spread to earth. As Satan came and tempted man, as we read in those first three chapters of, uh, of Genesis, but uh, we see then that even though God gave us a free will, God was, was allowing us to do the unthinkable, to rebel against him, the one who gave us that free will, the one who created us, and that is exactly what we did. So in a sense, sin is a distortion of one of the good gifts that God provided to us. Now, that free will then really sort of became distorted at the point where man uh, began to realize that or began to think that he was more important than he really was. He forgot that he was a created being and he began to act, to, he began to act as if he was an uncreated being and he forgot that he was to be dependent upon God. So one of the things that happened is uh, uh, Satan tempted through the avenue of pride and some lies, and man was drawn into this sin. Now, I really think then that the two of the, well, three of the basic elements of the, the account of the beginnings or origins of sin really started with number one, a lie, number two, pride, and number three, rebellion. Now, I think all of that is tied up into the origins of sin, but all of that is a distortion of God's good gift of free will. Now, once sin entered into creation, one of the questions is, what is the nature of sin? Now, some people would prefer to say, well, sin is just, you know, it's just a mistake. But the Bible says it's much more than that, and it's much more serious than that. Uh, in fact, the Bible tells us that, that sin pollutes us on the inside. You know, it's, it's kind of like the picture of, of a, a well that is good and the water's clear and clean and somebody comes and pours a bit of poison into that well and it's ruined from, from then on, from that point onward. Well, I think that's what Satan did. He poured uh, a bit of the rage and rebellion and the pride into that pure well of the human soul. And we've been battling to get it out ever since. So the first thing that, that we see in the nature of sin is it pollutes, it corrupts, but it does its damage from the inside. Now that means it's a little harder to get out. It's actually a lot harder to get out. But, but the first nature of sin is it pollutes. And it doesn't take much to pollute that, that perfectly good well of the soul that God created us with.
Now, the second thing that we know about the nature of sin is it's stubborn. It's kind of like a stain that, uh, you know, maybe you, you have on a shirt or a dress or something and you can't get it out and you run it through the washing machine again and again and again and it seems like you just can't get rid of it. Well, that's also the nature of sin is it is stubborn. Number three, the nature of sin is it multiplies. You know, uh, when one sin comes into our life, it begins to multiply into other forms of sin. Just as a lie led to pride, led to rebellion, the nature of sin is it multiplies. And that's part of the reason why it's so dangerous, is, is one sin leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. It's kind of like if you tell a lie, you've got to cover up the lie, and then you've got to cover up the lie that you told to cover up the lie, and it all begins to snowball. Well, that's what happened to us as human beings. Now, there's a fourth aspect to the nature of sin. And it's the last one that we're going to cover today. But uh, that is that sin spreads to others. Sin is, to use a popular and fashionable word right now, is viral, okay? It spreads to others like a virus. It's very contagious. And, and, and oftentimes we may possess a sin, but we can pass on our sin to others who may follow our example. The Bible also speaks of a sin nature within us, and we'll look at that later on uh, this week. But today, I want us just to think about these four aspects of the nature of sin. Sin pollutes, sin is stubborn, sin multiplies, and sin spreads to others as well. Now, I don't mean to depress you on a Wednesday morning, but I think as Christians, we've got to think seriously about sin before we appreciate the work of our Redeemer who came to deliver us from that sin. Anyway, something to think about for today. Bye-bye. God bless. See you tomorrow.